Our story begins on the 25th of June, 1865, when James Hudson Taylor cried out to God on Brighton Beach for willing, skillful workers to join him in taking the gospel to the unreached inland provinces of China. And so the China Inland Mission was founded. Within a year, Taylor, his family and 16 workers set sail aboard the Lama Muir to China. By the end of 1866, 24 workers were active in four stations across inland China, preaching the gospel and planting churches. Other missionaries of the time sought to preserve their British ways, but Hudson Taylor was convinced that the gospel would only take root if missionaries were willing to identify with the culture of the people they wanted to reach. Let us in everything not sinful become like the Chinese, that by all means we may save some. The following year saw a period of expansion for the China Inland Mission. By 1888, the CIM had sent 294 people to 14 provinces. Between 1898 and 1900, during the Boxer Uprising, hundreds of missionaries and thousands of Chinese Christians were put to death. The CIM lost 58 missionaries and 21 children. Through this time of persecution, the CIM grew in number to 933 people, and by 1939, almost 200,000 Chinese and minority people had been baptized. A turning point came in 1949, when Mao Zedong and his Communist Party took power in China. Despite wanting to stay, by 1950, it became impossible, and the China Inland Mission had to leave. It was an uncertain time, but hope came when the decision was made to move out to new countries. Headquarters were established in Singapore, and workers spread out to surrounding countries, taking the gospel of Jesus in all its fullness with them. The name was changed to the Overseas Missionary Fellowship, and then to OMF International in the 1990s. As OMF workers have sought to reach the vast and diverse people of East Asia, their skills and ministry have had to develop and diversify too. Alex rode his motorbike around Thailand, handing out Bible tracts. David broadcast Christian radio programs into Cambodia. Makino and Izu disciple students in Thailand. Kirk travels to the nomads of Mongolia, sharing the good news of Jesus. Irene trains Sunday school teachers in the Philippines. Carolyn prepares new Asian believers in the UK to return to East Asia. Sarah mentors marginalized women through jewelry making. And Peter teaches the Old Testament in Malaysia. In 2006, Dr. Patrick Fong became the General Director, the first Asian leader to hold this position in OMF International. Today, we have over 1,400 workers from over 40 nations serving among approximately 100 people groups in East Asia, as well as among the Asian diaspora in Europe, Africa, the Americas, New Zealand, Australia, and in Asia. This is how God has used us for the past 150 years. How will He? Use you.